exactly are tags and lists in Kartra? What are the differences and how do you use each? That's what we're going to cover in this video. Hi everyone, it's Kevin from Solopreneur and in this video, I'm going to try and help you understand what tags and lists are within Kartra because they are integral to almost everything that happens in the platform, especially tags. They are what enables all of the advanced automation that you can do. So I'm gonna explain what tags and lists are, what are the differences, when to sort of use each, and show you guys some really cool things you can do with it. Now, this can get really advanced, so I'm gonna keep this at a beginner level, but I'm gonna show you guys just some hints at some really cool stuff that you can do for my more advanced card tray users. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing is you wanna to go to My Communications, and this is where you can actually find the lists and the tags. So what exactly are tags? Well, tags are essentially something you can assign to a contact for taking almost any activity in Kartra. So I'm gonna give you some specific examples here. So if we want to go into one of our Kartra pages, then you can see here that we can assign a tag to anyone who visits this page. So that's an example. Give you one more here if you're going to videos as an example. You can assign a custom tag to anyone who either visits this page, they've watched up to a certain point in this video. So essentially tags are applicable to anything. You know, you can look at people who've bought a specific product, people at a certain membership level assign them a tag, people who've done so on and so forth, practically any tool in Kartra. Now, I'm gonna explain why that's important in a moment, but let me also explain firstly what lists are. So lists are similar to tags, but the one difference is lists are something your customers can unsubscribe from. So this is purely really a compliance thing. So when you're sending emails, they have to be able to unsubscribe from a list. So let's say you someone fills in a certain opt-in form, like they've filled in a subscription form, you should create a list from that that says product updates or newsletter or company news. So I'll show you what that looks like right there. So you can see here, you know, I have here a Kartra Nurture uh, opt-in and, and these are some internal ones, but you wanna create ones that'll say something like product updates, news. That way when the person goes to unsubscribe, they'll see that category because in order to be compliant with can spam, Castle in Canada, GDPR, so many others, you wanna be have the ability for your customers to unsubscribe. So that is the only difference, right? Lists are required for solely email. Other than that, you really don't need lists. Tags are much more customizable. Tags can also be uh, applied to categories and so much, so much more. So just create some very general lists, uh, like I said, newsletter, whatever else, just so you have those general lists that you know your customers can unsubscribe from if they want to. But then within that, you can imagine. So within one list, there could be um, product news or uh, you know existing customers. You could make that a list. And then within that, you can have tags for each individual product they've bought. So I'm just going over some, some really simple examples here, but just want to tell you guys that that is the core difference. You need to create some lists, but once you create those base lists, you really don't need them anymore. Now let's talk about tags. So the value of tags is you can do just crazy things with it. So I'm going to show you guys just a few of the things you can do, right? So if we go to communications and sequences, of course, you can start by emailing people or creating automations that email people once they hit a certain tag. So like we said, let's say we had that example where someone watched a video and they watched halfway, or maybe they watched three quarters of this video, and maybe it's like a product video or something, and then we've created that tag that says person watched three quarters. You can create an email sequence that triggers off of them having that tag. So you can see one minute demo watch. So this person I know watched at least one minute of this video, so then I can create that demo sequence, and I'll show you what that looks like right here. So I'm just giving you one example of practically how that's done. 
So you can see here, then, then you can just create a sequence off of a tag just like that. Then you can get really advanced as well. Like I said, there are some super advanced things here. I just want to show you the basics. Don't get overwhelmed. You know, really the one thing that most people, most beginners are going to do are the email sequencing. But I'll show you guys one little advanced thing. You can use automations and you can say if, you know, someone is assigned a tag, then, you know, we'll just pick a tag as an example here. Then we can even get super advanced and start doing lead scoring, right? So you can give them lead scoring if you have a more complex sale. So you can say give points and then they get 10 points and then maybe they have to trigger a certain lead score and you assign them another tag and then that is a qualified buyer, this and that. So super advanced, right? B2B marketing stuff. Just want to give you guys an idea though that you can do all kinds of automations once you've had tags set up. Again, beginners, you know, apologize if that's a little bit overwhelming, but the point I'm trying to impart is these tags are super important because they can grow with you and you can start to do some of the most advanced automations with them. I'll show you guys a more simple example that everyone can get into. Tags also enable you to have dynamic content, behavioral adaptive marketing as they call it. So as you guys can see on this page, we can actually create sections that are only visible to people who have a specific tag. So say for example, okay, like you see this pop out bar right here. If I go to edit, I can actually go to hide and I can make this special offer only visible to people who have a specific tag or people who don't have a specific tag. So you could see how powerful this is. Like what if you want to display a special offer to only people who haven't purchased product A, but have purchased product B. I'm sure as I'm saying this stuff, your mind's starting to say, oh wow, I could do all of this super advanced stuff. Like you could have sections in here. As you add any component or section, you can have it dynamically trigger. And what's amazing is you don't have to update any of these sections manually. And this is where Akarto's dynamic uh, adaptive marketing comes in. We can have it so that this section won't appear until someone has a tag. And then because of your all, all your other tagging sequences, you've built this thing where your site is basically dynamically changing and personalizing based on your visitors activity. So again, to get to that, it is advanced, but uh, hopefully you can see the power of tags and why it's so important to Kartra and why it's basically the lifeblood of the platform. To back it up, you know, that's getting really advanced, but I just want to say as a beginner, the things you want to start doing are you want to create the sequences, right? So we'll go to my communications and then what you do is you go and you create a tag. I'll just do it here so you can name your tag. And then once that tag is created, then once you go into any of the assets, you can assign that tag. And so for example, if someone fills in a form, you can assign them a tag. If you want to, you know, really understand how advanced tags can get and really get an idea of it, if you actually play any of the videos, you'll you know, say one with like 23 assets. I'm going to play it here and, and I'm going to pause it. You can see here that, you know, oh, there's a tag involved here right? And so it'll show, and then you'll start to understand in a sense why tags are so uh, integral. And if you click through some of these, you'll see more implementations of the tags, but tags are going to be something you're going to want to assign to your customers because you'll be able to build off of them. So even if you're not using tags now, assign a tag when someone buys product A on your e-commerce site. Don't even worry what you're going to do with that. Don't even worry about that. Just start collecting the data. You know, assign tags when people are looking at key pages on your site or key offers or someone's filling in certain contact forms. Once you start tagging people, then you can start to build on it. I could probably make an eight hour seminar on how to use tags. And that wasn't the goal. You know, I understand a lot of people probably still have questions about tags. So just drop them in the comments below. I just wanted to give you guys a really quick overview of how tags and lists work. Just so when you are signing up for Kartra and you do one of these automated campaigns and all of a sudden all these tags import and you're like, wait, what? What are these tags? What are these lists? How do they all work together? So you guys are not overwhelmed and I want you guys to understand and appreciate why they're necessary. So that's it guys. If you found this video useful, give me a like, 
consider subscribing to the channel if you want more digital marketing, marketing automation, entrepreneurship content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.